Welcome to episode 316, Adnan Khashoggi, biggest arms dealer in the world, 9 lessons. This is an outline of episode 316, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 316, lesson 6 to lesson 9. Lesson number 1, he sells trust. How did he got Iran, Israel, Ronald Reagan, Donald Trump, Imelda Marcos, June Collins, Frank Sinatra, etc. to trust him. I have to look up the definition of trust, and this is what I found. Trust equal consistency over time. Lesson number two, how did he earn trust? He threw the biggest and most extravagant parties the world has ever seen. Move over to Gatsby. The Tower Schausberg, one of the world's largest private palaces where Mozart, Beethoven and Wagner entertained royal families of the Golden Age. 200 years later, who else but Adnan Khashoggi could effectively purchase this city for the coming of age of his eldest son, Mohammed. The most extravagant event in European history began as guests were flown into Vienna aboard the Triad jet. Khashoggi wanted everything perfect and sparing no expense, took over the entire Intercontinental Hotel, saving the top floor for himself. Lesson number three, he is the bridge between the East and the West. He was born in Mecca in 1935 under the sign of Leo to a middle-class family. His Muslim religion and loyalty to the Saudi royal family are the pillars upon which his empire is built. He's a man who can't avoid the limelight. But for connections between East and West, Khashoggi's visibility has proved to be extremely good for business. Lesson number four, where he learned multiculturalism from Victoria College in Alexandria, Egypt. In its early years, Victoria College had boys from all the Arab world and African countries. The educational policy of the college combines the best of English system of education with the best of the system followed in the state schools. They included 13 nationalities broken down to three religious groups. There were 80 Christians, 67 Jews and 39 Muslims. The school's motto was, join together as one people. Lesson number five, the biggest risk of an arms dealer is not getting paid. For example, the Iran-Contra scandal. Khashoggi's problem, he did not get paid. Lesson number six, good time does not last forever. Now, how do you define good time? For arms dealer, it means high oil prices, high weapon prices. I know oil prices are cyclical, as shown in this graph. Lesson number seven, big expenses. For example, parties, divorces. He paid $874 million for divorce in 1980. He reportedly spent $250,000 a day. That is $97 million a year. Lesson number eight, poor business decisions. Khashoggi's influence truly is global. His varied business interests span over five continents, and it's a never-ending list that includes a new construction complex in Salt Lake City, a gypsum mining operation in Saudi Arabia, a commercial vessel export business in Jakarta, land development in Arizona, and varied interests that range from cattle ranches in Brazil to the Utah Jazz basketball team. Lesson number nine, he is 98% self-made. He lost 98% of his fortune. He was a college dropout who followed his dream at the age of 25, so he is self-made. At his peak, he was worth $10 billion. He died with a net worth of $400 million. He lost 96% of his wealth in 35 years. Now adjusted for inflation, he lost 98% of his fortune. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.